Hope you've got your listening ears on now for maths. We're going to start with counting things that you can't move. It's actually things you're going to have to listen to, okay? So I'm going to start by doing some claps. I want you to see if you can count how many claps I do. Are you listening? Listen carefully. How many? Did you get it right? It was one, two, three, four. Right, okay, here comes another one. This time I'm gonna bang the table. Right, so listen. How many was that? I'll do it again, listen again. Did you get that? It was one, two, three, four, five, six. Now some of you might find this challenging. It's even the best counters that I've known in Puffins over the years find counting sounds, things they can't move, very tricky. So if you can't do it, yeah, not a problem. Just practice. Well, I've got a bucket and a paintbrush and this time I'm gonna use it like a drum. Can you count how many bangs you hear? Did you get? See if you're right. Let's do it again. How many did you count? I'll count with it now. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did you get that right? Oh, that's a game you can all play as a family. You can take it in turns, either clapping or if you've got a musical instrument, having a go at striking the instrument and seeing if the other people can count how many you did. All right, so play that for a bit and then come back because I actually have an extremely hard challenge today. So I hope your maths brains are warmed up. It's quite a tricky one. It's actually something maybe the Robins should do, not the Puffins. So you have to be very clever. All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, here we go. This is extra tricky. In fact, you don't really have to know how to do this as a Puffin. But it would be a good way to see if you are really clever at making the number nine. And it will see if you remember some of the things you did yesterday. Now, can you see we've got this box here, this square? And it's because there's a missing number. And we've got to work out what this number needs to be. Now, can you see we've got nine? And we're saying that nine is the whole, the whole thing. And it equals something plus five. So five and something else is the same as the number nine, okay? So I'm going to use my number block number nine to help me. So you could use some objects. So if I know that number block number nine, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine. Right, can you see I've got my nine objects? So that's what nine is, and that's the whole part. Now I need to think about, so what is it that makes nine, which number goes with five? So I'm going to do this. I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five. So I've taken five from the nine pile, and whatever's left be the missing number. So how many blocks have we got left? Let's see. One, two, three, four. So I found out that the missing number here has to be four because with the number five you need four to make nine. I'm going to prove that to you with my Numicon. So I'm going to put the five, uh, sorry, the, the nine there. You've got the nine, haven't you? Let's move these blocks a minute. And then we knew that we had number five. So we knew that we had five and we had to find out what else went with five to make nine. So if I put that over the top, that the missing part was number four. So it's another way really of showing that four and five makes nine. Now, let's try one more. And then you can have a go at doing lots of different ones 
with your family. So it makes sense to get nine objects to help you as well. So let's do a new one. Here's my new one. Do you see that this time it says nine equals seven plus something. So seven and something makes nine. And look, I've moved the number around this time because it doesn't matter where the missing number is. You can still work it out. So let's put my nine here so I know I've got nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got nine. Now I know that seven is part of the, so I'm going to take the seven from here. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what's the missing part going to be? Seven and what makes nine? Let's put all these blocks over here and find out. Ready? One, two. So the missing number must have been two. We've got seven and two is the same as nine. So let me get my Numicon. Here's my number nine again. There's nine. And we knew we had the number seven. So let's put seven this one over it. I'm going to line it up here to make it easy for me. Look, the missing part, the part we didn't have, was two. So seven and two makes nine. Now that is very tricky, very tricky. I wonder, even if you explore it with just for adults, do you reckon you can have a go at finding out ways of making nine in a different way by having missing numbers? Good luck!